Hey guys, welcome to another week here at the Geek Course. And today we're going to do a back take from the Pendulum Sweep setup. So, like we did last time, we're going to start here in the Close Guard. Really nice and basic. I'm breaking his grip here. Boom. If you want the details, make sure to check out the last video here. And so, from this position, I'm bringing him close to me here, right? And I'm hip escaping slightly to the side. And you will feel that there are certain times when he's exposing you or exposing himself for the sweep and certain times he's exposing himself for the back take, right? Obviously, if he's pushing in towards me, it's going to be hard for me to go around to his back. So that's when I would go for the sweep. But when he's going away from me, that's when I'm going to go for uh, the back take, okay? So in this scenario, I'm going to start looking to bring my elbow to the floor here, okay? I can post with my hand here as soon as I can, but the idea is to first climb up onto your elbow and then onto your hand afterwards. So you will see now that I'm kind of hanging onto his back with this top leg. And now I can release the bottom leg and slip it underneath. Okay. So at no point am I losing the tension on the top of his body. Right. But I just want to make sure that I can slip this leg underneath him. Okay. So you can roll up your hand here and bring this leg underneath. But right now, I want to make sure that I'm not falling too much forward, right? Then I'm going to lose the back take here. So I want to make sure that I'm tight to his hips with my hips, okay? Let's turn a little bit to this side here. So I got up here, right? It's important that I'm not all the way over here because here I'm going to likely lose the position that I just gained. So I'm making sure that my hips are as tight and close to the line of his hips when I'm coming up, okay? So from the beginning, here and up, okay? Now there's gonna be a fight that depends a little bit on how he's reacting, right? If it's an open space here, obviously you can just throw the leg inside all is good, all is well, you got the hooks and you got the points, right? Sometimes you're gonna have to fight for it and it, you will feel there is a slight tug war here. Either he's trying to bring you over to this side or you can manage to bring him over to this side, right? So you're gonna feel whether or not he's coming with you or he's going away from you, okay? So that's the magic behind this position, at least sort of. So. What you try to do, if he's pushing uh, towards you or coming in towards me here, I'm going to help him out, okay? And this way, let's turn uh, this way. And if he's coming in towards me here, I'm going to step on the floor and I'm going to hip escape back. And then I can look for the second hook, right? If he's going away from me, I'm going to throw my knee on the side of his hip, and I'm gonna roll with him, okay? So I'm gonna go, he's, he's going the other way, and then I can get my other hook on the other side. Let's do that one, one more time. So the idea is that if I can pinch my knee on the side of his hip here, and as we roll, let's do it slow, so roll to this side. As we roll, you will see but because, because my knee is under his hip, it's gonna be super easy for me to flip him over to the side again, right? If his hips were to, onto the floor instead of onto my leg, it's gonna to be a totally different story. But because we have this, I can still move him over to the side and then get the hook that I wanted, right? One last time. Roll this way. <laughs> awesome. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Awesome.